What up, guys? What up? Uh, we're here at Lasseter's Hotel Casino. Up in the cardio room, which is a fucking, it's a really awesome room. I use this for posing practice when I uh, was competing last year. And um, it's probably about uh, 15 meters long by about 10 meters wide, so it's a pretty good space. And I've got these boxing bags up here, so I reckon it's about time. It is about time. I've been bulking for 18 weeks, 19 weeks actually, if you include the, the first one that I never uh, counted. And I've probably done cardio a, a good three or four times. I think I played basketball once, I've gone swimming, went down to the rugby field. Um, there's definitely been no morning cardio, no walks or anything like that. So today, to get my head back in the game, get some cardio going, get a sweat up, I've just trained shoulders and we're gonna do some uh, boxing or some fucking fighting, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, by no means am I a fighter. In fact, I've probably used a boxing bag a good 10 times in my life, but I do enjoy it, and that's my form of cardio for today. So I'm gonna put on some fucking gloves, and um, have a wee head around, and see how we go. Turn on some lights. How hard is it to find a pair of fucking matching gloves around here? God, better take this box off. Yeah. So, I remember on this day, um, I think it was around about this time last year, I made a video talking about what I wanted to achieve in 2016, as far as you know, experiences and things like that. And one of them was I wanted to go to Thailand. We'll go somewhere in Southeast Asia and do a fucking martial arts camp. Um, I did go to Southeast Asia. In fact, I went twice, but I never went to a martial arts camp, which was pretty stupid. That's going to be on my, my list for 2017. Um, but just in case you're wondering, here's the video, and here's what I wanted to achieve. This year, just gone, 2016. I'd love to do a spiritual um, meditation sort of course or a boot camp or something, you know? Either that side of things or I'd like to do like a fitness boot camp or like a mu um, Muay Thai or a martial arts boot camp for like a couple of weeks in Thailand or something. Something to just take me out of my comfort zone and get me out of Alice Springs obviously and experience something new. I'd love to learn a martial art and I don't want to leave it any longer because you know I'm 25 and I've never learned martial arts so it's obviously going to be completely new and I'm probably going to be real shit at it but I'd love nothing more to, than to actually get quite good at a martial art I mean that would be that would be that would mean more to me than being a good bodybuilder put it that way what I'm going to do is first of all educate myself as I said in the previous video so we're talking about a proper fitness certification which I need to have anyway but um, I'm definitely going to get that underway in the new year and I'll be obviously vlogging about it so you guys will see how I go, how easy it is or how stupid the questions are or whatever. I'm going to tell you guys exactly exactly what I have to go through to become a personal trainer. Um, so as well as that, um, I really want to wait, raise awareness on social media. So Instagram, YouTube obviously are my two, two uh, favourite and you know, best performing social media platforms. A YouTube target, I mean, I said a year ago I'd love to have 500 subscribers by the end of this year. We're nearly there, I think. I mean, a thousand is, is the next benchmark, isn't it? So, a thousand by the end of next year, I reckon if I can start putting out quality videos, it's all about the quality. It's about the audio, the video, it's about the thumbnail, it's about the, the title, the tags. I mean, everything rolls into one. So I really got to start putting a, a lot more effort into YouTube if I want it to grow, and that's just the way it is, so. Anyways, I'm gonna get into some fucking cardio, basically. Everybody's watching her, looks like that you 
Minutes is that? Fucking. That'd be a good two rounds. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Ooh. Can't speak too much the first time, can you? Fuck. Shit. Oh my god. Wow, my eyes look blue there. <sighs> Fuck. Shit. That shit is fucking hard. <sighs> I've got a stitch. Any of you guys know what a stitch is? Well, oh, it fucking hurts. Anyways. Oh, I'm gonna sit down here. Um, I think I was in such a good mood to do this to hit some cardio because I actually hit a, uh, a good PB today um, on mili standing military shoulder press. So first of all I went in and I did some side raises and then did a good amount of sets, you know, probably 9 or 10 sets total and then I moved over to a pressing movement. Um, the only reason why I didn't do a machine like I normally would or you know maybe dumbbells but definitely not barbell military press is because I've never been good at it I've always thought that it felt kind of weird um, and you know what I think I may have finally found a technique that I actually like and that works for me um, what I changed was before when I was doing this, the military press I was looking forwards like at my eyes um, in the mirror and um, I was actually like subconsciously sort of because I was looking in front of me the weight was sort of being pushed forward before it was pushed up and what I've done is I've actually started looking upwards and not looking at myself not looking at the way I'm lifting the weight I'm focused I'm looking upwards and I'm focusing 100% on pushing that that weight up so in a vertical direction um, and it seems to have worked it felt really good so today I had a PB I went 40 kgs, I did 12 reps, I did 50 kgs for 12 reps, 55 for like 10 reps, and I was like, fuck this, I'm going to go for 60, which is exactly what I did. Last time, at the peak of my bulk, last time, I was doing 60 kgs for a 5x5. Five five. Today, even after all those previous sets, I went on 60 kgs and I busted out 9 reps. And I'll tell you what, I was fucking stoked. So. I'm gonna, I did video it, so I'll put in the footage now and you can have a look at that set and I'll come back to you after you, uh, after you watch that one. So I'm pretty proud of it, although my technique definitely needs work. Um, but to be honest, I was so focusing on just keeping, keeping the tension on the shoulder and keeping the, uh, the, keeping the uh, movement pattern completely vertical, so I sort of neglected the rest of my body, but here's the footage.
that will conclude today's video. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a back shot here. I haven't really seen my back for a while now. What does it look like? Is it big? I don't know. Maybe. My triceps getting bigger? I don't know. I do feel like things are going pretty good. So I'm going to pack up my stuff and head out. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm pretty tired still. <sighs> still getting my fucking breath back. But that was a good, good wee session. Six minutes. That's all I needed. I'll probably do another one actually. I should. But I won't. I'll do it next time. So until next time guys, have a great night. As always, train hard, eat well. I haven't actually said that for a while, but I do mean it. You feel amazing for it. I'm gonna finish this off by coming over here where the lighting kind of makes me look like a ghost with blue eyes. Peace out guys, I'm going home. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh.